Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. We got to talk about this Shapeshifters promo. Is it actually shapeshifting content, if you will? Sorry for the pun, but we got to talk about this promo, man, because there are some really, really insane cards in here, but they're all like upper echelon players and there's a couple good cards on the middle to lower tier as well but i feel like it's one of those promos where everything is starting off super duper expensive and yes they're they're exciting cards they're great items but is this content going to be enough to keep us engaged engaged and be excited about the game and what's coming out especially given the time of the year that it is. So I want to talk about that, talk about all these cards. Like they were super hard to obtain yesterday. And these cards are still very expensive, in my opinion, coming off the heels of a team of the season where so many cards drop so much in price and they're so good statistically. Yes, these shapeshifters do take TOTS cards to another level. Uh, of course, I have some of the cards in the shapeshifters team do have TOTS cards, uh, but they're so expensive, and I think that's really impacting a lot of the high-tier market. We'll talk about that in this video. I want to talk about the SBC yesterday, the Felipe Anderson, because that was the best piece of content out of the whole game yesterday. A lot of right mids drop because of the uh, hype on this Felipe Anderson SBC. Incredible card. I think we have some other cool SBCs coming. I'll take a look at that. And also just take a look at the audacity of EA Sports from the couple leagues that we have in pack code that we have added. They might be adding a couple different cup modes today, which could involve bronze and silver players. I mean, it's June. If we're going to play with bronzes, there better be some pretty good rewards EA Sports. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But let's get into it and talk about it all today. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, there's a lot to talk about regarding yesterday with Shapeshifters, right? Of course, like we mentioned, there wasn't a lot of pack supply yesterday, so these cards are really, really rare. There wasn't a lot of saved up packs. There were no preview packs. It was basically just EA running some lightning rounds. They have run a lot of the, the late night lightning rounds as I'm making this video a little bit later than normal. Those lightning rounds are over. So I'm kind of watching some of these cards um, as they're no longer extinct, right? Sonaldo was 5 million coins extinct yesterday. Uh, Messi was extinct. He's no longer extinct. Uh, Hazard was extinct at 2.5 mil. He is now 2 million coins. So a lot of these cards after a few hours ended up dropping a lot in price. Um, and they're no longer, uh, you know, extinct on the market. But, you know, this team in general, there's some really, really good cards in here. But I feel like the most hype cards that are in this team are on the really, really top tier, right? Four million for Sun, two million for Hazard, seven million for Messi, and then Davies and Atal both being over 500,000 coins. Yes, there's some other good guys in here, but I really think that's why you're seeing the top tier market take the biggest hit. I mean, take a look at some of these Ultimate Tots cards, like Jude Bellingham is 970, he was just even lower than this, 900,000 coins. Uh, yesterday, he was just he was just kind of dropping, right? He had a bounce back, and then now overnight, he's just been dropping, dropping, dropping. And it looks like he's just kind of bounced back off of rarity right there. But Vinicius, 3.1 mil. I'm pretty sure I saw a Neymar price that was like under 5 million coins. Like that's crazy. 4.7 mil. Look at the crashes on the top tier market just because of how excited people are to go and try out some of the five-star skill move upgrades on Hazard, on Messi, on Sun, and just the great cards that are out here in general because they're so expensive. It's causing a correction on the other top tier parts of the market as people are selling cards like this Neymar to go and try the brand new Shapeshifter cards out. So that's why you're seeing the prices dropping there. For the rest of the team, there's some good budget items in here too, right? Mukiele is a great card. Kalulu is pretty dope. Even Hector Bellerin for a cheap left back in La Liga is really good. I'm excited to try out this St. Juice Day just because it's a wild position change from center back to right wing, a four-star, four-star card, high medium work rates. I, I don't imagine this guy would be super duper good in game, but he does have the lean body type. So we'll have to see. And it's just a crazy card for 64,000 coins. Um, you know, it's even a card that you could maybe like move into the midfield if you wanted to. Uh, I don't even know what you do with this card. It's just, that's that's the cool part about this shapeshifter promo, right? Is that the cards are just all like crazy, like weird position change. It's awesome. That part of it is really cool. Of course, we knew we were going to like that heading into this promo. So that's kind of what's going on with the team. I mean, let me know what you guys think about this squad. Like the thing that I would say was a bit of a bummer yesterday is the pack weights really low. So these guys are pretty rare on the market because of that. 
and it seems like they're pretty hard to pack. I opened over 50 player picks yesterday, didn't get a single one of these cards. I was really hoping even to hit like, you know, a Spinazzola, Mukiele, St. Juste, even like anybody from the team would have been really nice to hit, and I didn't hit any of them uh, in that. So if you guys saved player picks yesterday, I hope it went better than it did uh, for me. I also opened my 84 times 25, didn't get a single one of them as well, so we were kind of in the mud with that. Uh, but we were able to go out and, and get started on the Felipe Anderson SBC, which was a big W. This card right here was the biggest W of content yesterday, 100%. Five-star skill, four-star weak foot. This, in my opinion, if you've been running Rodrigo, this is an upgrade to Rodrigo. I mean, 75 defending, don't sleep on that. 80 stand tackle, this guy would be a great right wing back. Uh, if you're running like, maybe not a right wing back, but a right mid, you're running three, five, two, somebody that comes back a little bit. He has some at least better, uh, defending stats than an attacker that has his same stats. So really big fan of this Felipe Anderson card finesse shots with that left foot cutting in from the right side. Perfect. Absolutely love that. So I'm going to be getting him done, uh, and get that done for sure. Now objectives, we had another Arsenal striker two days in a row with an Arsenal striker released on the game. Shapeshifters Pepe, the day after that we had the end of an era at Lacazette. So Arsenal fans are actually loving life because they got two new strikers. But also, if you did Lacazette yesterday, and then now you see this card you can get for free, some people might be like, oh man, that sucks, or whatever the case. But that was our objective from yesterday, along with Gerhardt, who is not bad, also just not great. I feel like that kind of encompasses how we, most people felt about the promo yesterday uh, in total, except for that Felipe Anderson SBC. Not bad, just nothing super duper crazy. But let's talk about the rest of the market really quick before we talk about today's uh, more content coming on Saturday. These cards, of course, were very expensive to start off. Alfonso Davies was like, you know, 1 million coins continue dropping off. A lot of these cards that were extinct are still near they're kind of like extinct thresholds. You know, Sonaldo was extinct at 5 mil. He's now 4.3, so still around there. I, I think that some of these cards will have fluctuations up this morning, even at the moment. I bought a bunch of Kalulus at like 390,000 coins, 390 to 400K, and he's up to 420. Um, I bought some Davies at like 490. He's starting to rise a little bit. So, you know, Atal was down at 600K, and he's probably going to rise up today uh, on Saturday a bit as well as people go out and try these cards. So if you have any of them and you're going to try them out today, I wouldn't hold on to them for too long because oftentimes during promos like this, where they start off really expensive, they just continue to drop over the weekend because they get more supply as they were not supplied very much in that first day. So that's one thing I'd watch out for today. If you're trying to trade with some of these cards. Now let's talk fodder for a second, right? We mentioned that the Felipe Anderson SBC was a big W. A uh, lot of upvotes on Footpin. You can see 95% upvoted. It's only 163K and the price has been dropping actually since it first came out. And that's telling me that fodder is going down. Your 83s back to 1K, your 84 is under 3,000 coins a piece. 85s are at 5.5K. So I would really, you know, it's not as low as last week. Like last week was crazy, crazy low, right? I don't expect them to get that low this weekend, but again, we're in that Saturday, Sunday time frame where fodder is looking like it's probably going to be investable again. I would take a look at that 87 to 93 range, I think, is where I would focus first. I don't know if I'd go to the higher tier part of that. I think there might be more return on your investment if you focused on maybe some of like the 89s, maybe the 88s as well, you know, 16, 17K for some of those. I know, yes, you know, these cards last week were like a 13, 14K. Um, but we have a moments SBC out. We still have the 94 plus, um, uh, player pick that is out. So maybe today on Saturday with that 94 plus player pick going away for people that are still working on that and completing that these two actually, um, maybe you'll see your top tier fodder, you know, just slide a little bit more. And maybe today on Saturday is the better buy for the SBC fodder, but probably going to have another icon moments player pick, uh, dropping, I would imagine on Sunday. So, you know, that's something I would keep an eye on is knowing that that's probably going to drop again. Fodder this weekend is going to be another good investment and probably be a really great investment opportunity. So definitely watch out for that as we head out through the rest of this weekend. Of course, the team of the season tab is going to be going away uh, today as all. OK, just kidding. The ultimate tots challenge five still has one day left on it. But the shapeshifters tab is now what we have. And we're getting the like the daily challenge SBCs with the mega pack yesterday was a W. Probably get one of those today on Saturday. Now, here's also what I want to talk about. Coming also today on Saturday, 
there's some really, really interesting leaks about objective content. Um, and I want to talk about this here for a second because, you know, Saturdays are the days where we have been getting like the cups, right? The ultimate cup last week, I believe, was dropped on a Saturday. Uh, you know, the Syria, the Lee Gun, Golden Gold Cup, we had that before. And Sheriff leaked this yesterday before 6 p.m. He said, there will be three cups available during Shapeshifters, all with untradeable rewards. A Shapeshifters cup, which would probably be similar to like Ultimate Cup, right? I just, I like the Golden Gold ones or the first two, as EA calls it, because they're just so quick to get done, right? So I like that. Uh, and then this is the really interesting one. Shapeshifters Bronze Select and Shapeshifters Silver Select. And it sounds like if you're going into the Bronze Select, you're going to be playing against Silver. So it's basically going to be Bronze versus Silver squads based off this leak. That's going to be kind of wild because I, I think that Mr. French here makes a good point in the reply to this tweet. Everybody has, from the Silver Stars promo earlier on this year, everybody has juiced up silvers, right? 74 rated Pogba, Royce, KDB, but there's been no bronze special card. So bronze versus silvers is going to be very, very uh, much of a mismatch in terms of the cards that are out in the game and how meta they are. Um, you know, it also seems funny to be playing with bronze players in june like the middle to end of june as well that's just kind of something to think about and watch out for we'll see what this entails today and we'll just have to see what ea gives us for uh, gives us for playing these games and if it's actually worth grinding or if it's just kind of one of those things where it's like ah ea you're trying to do something different but it's just not going to work we will see because also on the other side of the coin all the objective content well the grindable objective content so far with the daily login upgrades, which today we're going to be on day four, everybody's going to have a player pick one of four, one of three, 84 plus. Um, we're getting into the good stuff these next couple of days. You know, today, one of three, 84 plus. Tomorrow, one of four, 85 plus. And then we've got the TOTS player pack, the e figs, and then the shapeshifter player pack that everybody's going to get next Wednesday as login day seven. So if, if it's something, you know, this is hype. So if they continue that hype with objectives on the cups today, then, you know, we'll make something of that. But that's something I would really watch out for today. That's probably going to be one of the biggest pieces of content. Now, we also have a leaked SBC. And this guy was leaked earlier last week. We know about him, Carrasco, right? But there's a change. He's now got two different cards. And for the first time in a while, it looks like we're getting one of those like player pick SBCs. You know, we had this sometimes during like Future Stars earlier on this year where you had two different items to choose from. Rule Breakers with the Nkunku, right? That's throwing it way back. But it looks like we're going to have two different Carrascos, a right wing and a center attacking mid. And the center attacking mid card does not look near as good as the right wing, but you do get the 70 defense. So if you want to run like a box to box, more attacking Carrasco, this might be the one to go for. But the right wing looks clear to me, but also... Coming on the heels of a Felipe Anderson right wing card from yesterday, you know, is is that really what you want to do after you just got a brand new right wing? I don't know. So it looks like this might be some of our content today on Saturday alongside of with the cup modes and stuff like that. It's probably going to be a pretty quiet day. Saturdays usually are quieter days on the game. But also EA Sports, we are still awaiting our compensation and let me just go check the store just in case for some reason ea sports has compensated me in the process of recording this video which you're like nate don't even check okay no there's nothing there so uh we still haven't been compensated yet man and it's been what like four five days now almost four days like ea come on it's time to compensate these efix tots packs that's going to be content in and of itself when they finally decide to go and do that low key i thought it was going to be this this last night like friday night late i thought they might be able to push that out but for whatever the case they they have not yet so we are still awaiting that compensation that everybody is really looking forward to on this game so just a little bit of an update on the account i bought a bomb yang yesterday to try him out he was really really good i was really surprised with how good he was um you know just bought him for like 490 sold him for 500 whatever you made a really good profit on Julian Alvarez bought this at 580 and then flipped a couple of Talishkas as I did say I do have some Alfonso Davies I got him in like the 490s and I did buy some Kalulus at 390 to 400 as well so you know I'm gonna try to trade with some of these cards today because people are gonna want to try them out right they're still hype they're also really rare like if I check Kalulu his supply I think he's only got like five pages something like that on the market yeah, he's got five pages, which is pretty rare. So 
If Kalulu would go up to like 460, 470,000 coins, I'd be stoked as a French center back with that perfect link to tail. I don't know if he'll go 460, but even 450, I'd be pretty high for a Kalulu card to go all the way up to there. And just the rest of the team, I think you'll see a few explode, maybe not explosions, that's probably not the right word, but bounces upwards in price today. I'm not expecting anything super wild, but a bounce upward, we can make some profit and be pretty happy with that. I think that's going to be good. Now, last thing I have to cover is EA making a mistake yesterday. You guys might be like, Nate, how have you not talked about this yet? This was actually one of the biggest and most craziest parts about content yesterday was EA put the mini release cards in the game. I actually packed Grealish because they gave out an 85 plus pack and they gave out a player pick, a one of three, any of the shapeshifters cards for us to try out, which is cool, right? GG's EA Sports. But Robertson, Everton, and Grealish were cards that were in that player pick. Now, Footbin has them added. And I think people are confused because, wow, Grealish has five-star skills? That's sick. So these cards are probably going to be out on Sunday. But I also wonder if EA is like, okay, we messed up. Let's just put them out early. Maybe they come today because of that. But I would expect these cards on Sunday. Uh, but of course, we got an early taste of them because EA messed up. So a center attack in mid Grealish, a center defensive mid Andy Robertson. That looks like a really cracked card. That's pretty dope. High high work rates, four star, four star. So I'm a fan of that. That's pretty cool. And then Everton striker card uh, with five star skills as well for some Liga Nos hype. That's kind of a W too. So those are our mini with these cards, but people were packing them yesterday uh, via the player picks. And also this glitch was going on yesterday. If you guys had any shapeshifter cards in your team, uh, they're like card designs exploded and it blew up and were huge. You can see this guy's using um, the Felipe Anderson SBC and the Mookie LA card. He's just trying them out probably before the glitch was fixed. And the card designs like take up half the screen. It was kind of crazy. So I think that's been fixed. Uh, what, what's a little promo Friday without a little bit of uh, glitchiness from EA Sports, right? It just wouldn't be a promo Friday without something, you know, funny happening in there. So again, it's just, you know, this promo is cool. And I think you, you can't argue with that because you look at the top tier market and you see prices down a lot. You know, Hyunmin Sun, 4 million coins is directly causing an impact on some of these other really insane TOTS cards dropping because people want to go and try these guys out and they want to try out the brand new cards because they they are pretty insane let's be honest right the skill move the weak foot five star five star sunny five star skills messy the atal card that we have the davies card like there's some really really dope cards that are a part of this team and it makes sense but it's also just crazy to see the price drop offs and see these cards going down on the market just because of that hype that is there. This 99 Messi with the skills, man. That's nuts. That's crazy. End game Messi. We have arrived. We have arrived at the end game. So that's kind of the video for today, lads. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs on it, uh, thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I hope the, con uh, the content today is a W. I hope the cup content's a W uh, and just something different because they're going to have to do different things to, to keep us involved in the summertime months. So again, it's all going to be, I think the SBCs are, are going to have to carry this week, whether it's the player SBCs, the SBC content, because the cards and packs as of right now, a little bit too expensive, although they are cool. So we'll see if EA spices it up at all today. Again, do all those things I said before, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And it's been Nate the Foot Account. I will catch you guys later. Peace.